Uh, last episode. I ran into the minefield and just died, you know. Just died. I don't know if you can get rid of those mines. I should have done. Or if you actually need to run around them, find a way through, and jump. So safe this time. Up a Proximity detection. Upgrade my guns. No, oh, no. I do not like what I see and hear. Where? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Cora and me are in Cora. Ashley and me are in Cora armor from Aspect Andromeda. Okay. I did. I just hate it. I'm squeezing right through here. What the hell was that? I hate it. Ah, oh, then I need to find a way out. Mines. Is it disabled? No clue. But here we are on that asteroid. I'm about to kick some batarian ass, damn it. Damn it. Guess I don't hit my shots. Release the Baron! Not the Baron! Oh, the delays are flying through. Oof. A little bit close. Front of me. Damn it. No scope. No problem. The oh, hostile explosion. I wish I had shockwave. That would be the right. Right. Perfect right now. I'm gonna use my grenades. Yeah. Nothing happened. Lost shields. <laughs> I probably have the worst grenades. Nothing happened. So you know, that'll be bad. Oh. Nice one. <laughs> I got sperm grenades. Damn. No wonder they're useless. Oh. Let's see. Striker a uh, tree that's not great. There's some chill of the currency in this game. So I always can reduce to Omni Jail. Or is it just used for hacking and healing? And therefore I don't need it because I hack the hack game by using mods. Just like oh, I wanted it. So I have no clue how the hack game works. Upgrades. Show you how the core armor looks. And even more judgment. Here. Yeah. That's the Mass Effect Andromeda Core Armor. Actually got it to it, which is a little bit rougher. Weird. Fits me perfectly. 
And you don't have much new. This is all drama. Partisan, does that look good? No, I have it on. If there are any mods, toxic suits, dear. Yeah. I don't think I even give myself mods. Um, a little bit reckless, I guess. We're done here. Hmm. Looks like it. Hold it right there. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. So we can talk. Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. I didn't think you Batarians knew the meaning of the word. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit. A quick slave grab, nothing more. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are going to die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. Well, it's not too late. You can still leave. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Crazy bastard. This whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. So why do you listen to him? Good question. I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. Now Balak wants you dead. And what Balak wants, Balak gets. I can't change that. I knew this a paragon away. Do you always want to be second in command? Get me out of here and I'll take care of Balak. Then you can start giving the orders. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down. This is Balak's problem now. I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises, for both our sakes. Balak will get what's coming to him, and so will you if I ever catch you in human territory again. Are we clear? Perfectly. Mm -hmm. Balak's holed up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. We got it. Let's go. We're getting off this rock. Why? We have some cool voices though. Every Batarian. Almost every male. Character. Alien character. They got um, Krogans. Got them Turians. Watcher even. <laughs> okay, not Watcher. All cool voices. I fucked my car up here. I need to go here. I don't even know what I checked out from those exes. Looks sure shocked. Seems almost like a DLC because their companions don't say a single word. It's like on most of the other DLCs from Mass Effect 2 at least. Oh. Let's go. Finally, I can drive through here. <laughs> oh, not yeah. The mighty Mako stopped by a little road sign. No, oh, don't. Don't try to push through Mako. Oh. I hated that I needed to play for five more minutes after dying to get my progress back. That was disgusting. I just ran blindly in there. Like, hmm. I just said oh, I can't use a vehicle. So I can go by foot through the minefield. It's way more safer that way. The floating rocks though. Okay. Team Cora, let's go. Always the wrong button. Magic shop, no. Omni shop. What's the currency? Is it, does it have even a name? Oh, equipment. It's not. There, yeah, that's the currency name. Let's destroy something and see if I. No. Damn it. I do. Oh, maybe 
Yeah, I can't just throw it in here. And I just took all the upgrades off. in my face and just did to cross damn it Ashley die ah, those chones and my chone killer is down God. Good. Ah, that takes too long. Jaden. Patching you up. up. Fine. Yeah, good fight. Shields disabled. Here, damn it! Why is Kaden still on the floor? You good to go? Is he? No. Kaden, bastard. Oh, it's... No, it's not a drone. There it does. Don't tell me Ashley bit the grass. Shield disabled. Shield disabled. Oh, no. Getting away. And he healed. Hit that. No medicine. Oh, let's try it one more time. Good to go. And says no. Stupid. Put anti. Human rounds on my sniper. That's why it's not doing much damage. Yeah, Ashley. Good me, baby. We. What a waste. Lost shield. 
Oh. Damn it. So, bros, can I get you out here? No. Downstairs, right next to the door. Foxy. See upstairs. The house going on. What the hell then? No. The hell is up. One more creep. Throne. Damn boss of the goddamn game, what the hell? It should be just a drone. And it's just shredding through me. I don't even do damage. Wakey wakey Caden. I get them out now. I see when my enemy popped up. Uh tell me it's an odd drawn. Die, human! <laughs> you oh. human. You're almost more trouble than you're worth. Ah, oh, was he always green? Let the hostages go, and maybe you'll live long enough to explain yourself to the council. I don't answer to the council, or to you. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. I can't just let you go, Balak. Not after what happened here. This is nothing. You humans have done far worse to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile, forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Why take it out on these people? They didn't do anything to you or the Batarians. Didn't do anything? Aside from colonizing a world that could have been ours? Aside from using resources that should have been ours? We were left to defend ourselves, but the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. And how does killing innocent people make up for that? We had no other options. Sometimes you need to get someone's attention before they'll listen. Is that what Elysium was? A way to get our attention? Well, you got it. And when we responded, you ran like cowards. Now you want to start it all over again. Enough! Who could you possibly understand? Actually, you just don't want to understand, and I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. Mm. Oh, damn. Actually, we don't make the choice here. I don't want to let him go. I'm not letting a terrorist like you go free. Do what you want with the others, but it'll be the last thing you do. I hope this is worth it. No, oh, sure. No, they escaped. I'm sure. I'm sure the smart girl figured that away. Can I get up there? Are they coming downstairs? Right through here. 
maintenant. There we go, that's what we need to be. Oh, there are so many drones here. I'm a fool. Yeah, I'm a fool. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Damn it. Does he actually do damage to them? <laughs> oh, okay. No, okay. I'm gonna get surrounded. The hell? Not now re no, they're released. Good job. Hitting that to perfection. You can see the drones. I need to put points into my sniper. Do that right now, right? If I finally unlock, unlock sniper. There we go. Oh yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, perfect. I didn't even upgrade the rest of my squad. Aiden. Oh, the description, oh, the pro. Sure, let's get some left points in here. And Ashley. Pass. Ah. Nothing of use. Besides being a tank. Ashley's the tank. Uh, it's not far off of school now. Ooh. Let's use it. trees <laughs> that I am oh. stupid no oh. drone getting me to my health bother It's right in my face. Sure. Let's get him. Work like that. Nice. <laughs> you humans think you're so superior. But you're no better than us. I gave you a chance to save them and you threw it away. <laughs> Who's the real terrorist here? You and I are nothing alike. You killed those people. You pushed the button. And now you'll pay for it. Go ahead. Kill me. 
I'm not afraid to die. But know this. <coughs> One day soon, the human race is gonna pay for what it's done. I'm just gonna tease him. You're just a demented madman who gets off on killing humans. Don't try to make it sound like some holy crusade. It is a crusade. <coughs> and we won't stop until we wipe your filth from the universe. The Batarians have stayed hidden long enough. We won't be ignored. Not anymore. There are thousands more like me waiting their turn, each one willing to die for our cause. You could just kill him right now or keep teasing him. I like teasing. And they chose you for this mission? Then I guess we have nothing to worry about. Oof. Believe what you want. When the vids flash with images of your colonies in flames, you'll know the Batarian Rebellion has begun. <laughs> Roast him more. Roast him more. Who's your leader? Who's orchestrating all this? <coughs> I'm through talking. <coughs> Just kill me. Get it over with. You're not gonna die. We'll drop you off on Terra Nova and let Alliance officials deal with you. I doubt they'll be too friendly. <coughs> this isn't over! <coughs> this is just the beginning for the Batarian Nation! <coughs> is it safe? Watch where you step. There were bombs and there may be more. I need a sapper team to sweep the area. Right. I'll be careful. You did it. Another hour in our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city, the most densely populated region. But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Have you found Katie and her team? <laughs> I'm sorry, Simon. Balak took Kate and some others as hostages. There was a bomb in their cell and... You're, you're not kidding, are you? Oh, God. How could this happen? I thought you were... Couldn't you save them? Oh. <laughs> Oof. 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 Yes, I could have. If I let the Batarians go. But then they might have done the same thing to another colony. Or two more. Or a dozen. That doesn't... I know in my head what you're saying makes sense. It's just a little hard to see the big picture right now, all right? Shepard, thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. That's the good choice, I guess. Must be. I know it's a lot to ask, but that Omni tool of yours? I could really use something like that. Shepard, I think I mentioned that you saved my kids and grandkids. What's an Omni tool compared to that? You take it, with my blessing. I hope you get good use out of it. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineers. Have you found them? Not yet. Can you think of anything that would help me find them? See if you can tap into our transmission tower out on the surface. Their equipment sheds will show up on your sensors. Take care oh. of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. I'm pretty sure I found some corpses. But is it that good? Take all. Always the wrong button. Oh, hello. Toxic seals. Mm. I'm gonna look through that later. Nah, it's where would that only to upgrade even be? Just something I have now. Oh. Oh no, that. No, can we look in? Oh, awesome. Awesome. Thanks, game. Oh, I definitely needed to see that. Yeah, they're all dead. Is the quest done upstairs, or is it just wanting me to see the dead bodies? 
Uh, just wanted me to see the dead bodies. Tell me there's a quick way out here. Oh, merely. Nah. There's no quick way out. Damn it. That's the facility though. Damn, it's raining heavy right now, I know. Want to do get the perfect timing to go shopping for food. Say, Shepard, you didn't happen okay. to find any of my engineers, did you? I found two of them. They didn't make it. I, I see. Well, maybe the last <laughs> is still out there. Could you please keep looking? Take right. care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. Right, last one is definitely still out there. I have so much faith. Where's my maker? I believe it was all the way this, this, right here, right here. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna go there. Uh, the episode is over. I wanna see if she survived. I go outside anyways, right now with all that rain. Oof. Oh. That was a cool, heavy, difficult decision to make. Something that was missing definitely in Andromeda. Only decision that was a little bit impactful was that with the AI technology. In the bunker downstairs. Mostly because it was fun as hell. While saving it. Later tells you do it. Hopes. Hopes that you die. I have a video about that. I believe I made a short little clip. But it was German. So. Not quite. I think everybody would understand. Yeah. yeah, driving. Didn't download any maker mod, maybe? I'm not even sure. Stay on the high ground. Never mind. I don't think I'm gonna go blended exploring too much. There we go. I'm sure he's not gonna be dead, right? Good time to drum. I'm gonna fast throw back to Thomas. Yeah. Uh, this body has severe burns and shows signs of major concussive trauma. Mercifully, the explosion would have killed her instantaneously. This is Dr. Hines. They found me, damn Batarians. I can hear them out there prowling around, trying to find a way in. It sounds like they're attaching something to the door. If I don't make it, tell my family I love Oh, it was a bomb. I don't think I want to go back and tell him. I don't even know if there's a reward in it. No, oh, okay. Can I please fast travel there? No. Not. I'm not sure if that was a thing in Andromeda. Or the driving. It's the biggest comparison. Oh, uh, hey. Driving back there. And annoying. Too many mountains. So, just skip one minute. One minute will probably be the time. I wanted to test that. And that's scary. But it works like that. No. It's like a day where it's gonna rain on. will rain over the whole day. Duration of it. 35 liters of rain today. So, 
very much there are small windows maybe to go outside a shopping nights oh look at that view always oh, beautiful was destroyed I don't know what it was called in Andromeda. Just called 69. So it was so nice. Come on, get out. Oh, yeah. Say, Shepard, you didn't happen to find any of my engineers, did you? Yes, all of them. Their bodies, anyway. Oh, I, I see. Well then, I guess it's. Better than not knowing. Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. Uh, I hope it doesn't get too lonely around here. Not saving the civilians wasn't very paragon. Okay. <sighs> oh. We're already done here. Or some crew visits. Visit the crew. Just a little bit longer. Talk to them. See what's up. Shepherd's locker. Okay. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. We'll talk another time, Commander. Lieutenant. That's probably no one here. Sleep on board. Codex entries. Okay. Where's Ashley hanging out? Is that my room now? No? That was Job Nerdison's room. Oh, Dr. Chuck was. Plenished my girl. Let's see if I can switch basic outfits, but I don't think I can. You looking for supplies? Sh sure. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Actually, no, I should do that off screen. <sighs> Look at that price. Oof. Off screen. Ah, tardy. Well, she's here. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. <laughs> Oof. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for Tally, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Aye, aye, Captain. Talk. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. 
We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. She looks like a snake with that neck. I suppose say that. Oh, Gurafa. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. God, I listen to politician talks and I just get tired. <laughs> And boards, Geth. Talk about the enemy. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. How come the Council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. So the Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. So there's some sort of group consciousness? No, nothing like that. They cannot share sensory data or information. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. 
Each geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. What made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. I don't see what's so bad about those questions. The Geth were created to engage in mundane, repetitive, or dangerous manual labor. That's fine for machines, but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. The Geth were showing signs of rudimentary self-awareness and independent thought. If the Geth were intelligent, then we were essentially using them as slaves. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us. So we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. Oh, yeah, that story. Which actually paints the Quarians as the bad guys. Damn. Okay, this question will be finished for this storyline arc. In the next one in the next episode. From Quarian leader Tali. Hey, you can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now, we drift through space, exile searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. Oh. It's hard to feel sorry for you. Your ancestors tried to wipe out another species. We made a mistake when we created the Geth in the first place. But we did not make a mistake when we went to war against them. If we had not acted, they would have wiped us out. They're a synthetic life form. They have no use for organics. None. Why do you think they cut themselves off from the rest of the galaxy? Why do you think they've killed every organic being who's ever tried to contact them? They didn't kill Saren. What does that tell you? The Geth are not innocent victims in all this. They're the enemy. They want to destroy us. Not just the Quarians. All organic life. That's why they've joined up with Saren. And that's why we have to stop him. Okay. Okay. Enough backstory. Next part will be more of that. Peace out.